what a beautiful day. See any turtles today? Oh, let me get around this tree here. Oh, beautiful day. Oh, Dr. Romano! I didn't know you'd be out here today. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good, Dr. Romano. I was looking for my turtles and fish again. What are you up to? I want to go over a question on chemical kinetics that involves mechanisms. Um, I was going to do this during the summer of 2018 with my dad students. They were so chatty in class that I wasn't able to do it, so I kind of skipped it, and they missed something very important. So um, why don't I just do it here, and y you will miss out on some very valuable information that, as crazy as it sounds, my group missed out on this summer. I was about to do the problem. They were so chatty. I just decided to skip it. So let's do it with you. Wow, and Dr. Romano. I'll try not to be too chatty today because I want to see what you've got. I hate chatty kids. Let's well, get I right am to a work. little now, chatty. Oh, now, dear. what I want to do Jeez. is to write a rate law for the proposed mechanism. I'm going to give you three steps to a mechanism. And each step, the forward reaction, K1 is the first raised constant. K minus 1 is the rate constant in the opposite direction. K2 would be the rate constant for the second step, which is the rate limiting or rate determining or the slow step. And that's the step that governs the whole chemical kinetics. So that's going to be our most important step. And then K3 is the rate constant for the third step. The first thing you do in deriving a rate law, and this is a, one of the hardest questions on the dad exam, is to first go to the slow step and write the rate law. And I say the rate equals the K2 times the concentration of the reactants, which is C multiplied by Y. Now, you might think you're done, and maybe we are done because we wrote the rate law for the first step. Yeah. But what I would do is to go off to the side and write the overall reaction. You had 2X goes to Y, C plus Y is D, and D plus X is E. But if you notice, Y cancels and D cancels, and when you bring it down, you have 2x and x is 3x, and then there's the c, and then you just got e. So if you notice that the y and the d cancel out here, these are intermediates. Now you might say, well, what does this mean? Do not put an intermediate in the rate law expression. So that means when you go back, this term can't be in the rate law expression because y is an intermediate. So that means we must substitute for it. So what we're going to do is we know we need either X or C in the rate law. Well, we have C, so we need X. You go to the fast equilibrium step, and I'm going to say that the KEQ of that step, which is really the K1 divided by K minus 1, is the products over the reactants, which is Y over X squared. Cross multiplying, we get KEQ times X squared is Y we now have something to substitute for y. So I go back to my rate law expression, that was the slow step, rate equals k2 times c times y, but we now know y is keq x squared. So I now put in keq x squared for y. So this term here is substituted for the y term. Now what I'm gonna do is clean everything up. I'm gonna let the k2 times the KEQ simply equal K. So I'm going to substitute these two terms for K. We have the C, we have the X, and we square it. So notice now, we now have the two reactants that are in the rate law. Notice the final reaction has nothing to do with the stoichiometry. The final rate law expression was determined experimentally. Um, I hope that helps on how to derive a rate law. We have one in the Dat Destroyer book that's a challenging problem. But if you understand this, it's the exact type of problem. Instead of using X's and Y's, I gave you an exact chemical. Um, if you can do those problems, you're home free. This was a challenging problem, and it's not meant for the kid that's going for the 17 or the 18. But if you're going for 25 and beyond, I would definitely know how to do this. And remember, sometimes if you wrote the slow step, you might be done. You might not have to substitute for an intermediate. All right, I hope that helps you, and you'll be on Dr. your way. Dr. Romano, it helps so much, and you know I'm going for the 30. Want to know something funny, Dr. Romano?
Not really, but I, th I think you're going to tell me, so let's get it I over with. I am, Dr. Romano. Every time you were teaching, I'm going out. Look at all the turtles. There's tons of turtles. They like organic chemistry. See all their heads? Well, very good. Good day to you. Bye-bye. Maybe you'll do a problem on that turtle, Dr. Romano. Good day to you, sir. Good day.